Christopher, thanks. Whiteout Ice Cream is back at the Berkey Creamery ahead of what many say is the greatest show in college football. This weekend is Penn State's iconic Whiteout game. The Creamery is a Penn State staple, and as Andrew Clay explains, for many, it's as important to the game day experience as the 60 minutes on the field. To many, the Berkey Creamery is a sacred house. Top quality ice cream. 100%. Right? On home game weekends, it will serve as many as 10,000 scoops, and everyone has their favorite flavor. Eternal peach. I mean, you get any flavor here, it's going to be absolutely delicious I every single time. Guy. I agree with him, for sure. Even the Nittany Lions have their top pick. Michael Robinson mentioned Peachy Paterno. Michael Parsons, he loved the lemonade and had to have the lemonade, and after every practice, wanted the lemonade, and that's something that's ter terrific. On game day, people line up all around the building looking to get a bite of the good stuff. And honestly, you understand why. This is Death by Chocolate, one of the favorite flavors, and it's absolutely amazing. But I think the coolest thing about the creamery is that the milk produced for the ice cream is right here on campus. It's like right over there. I mean, not there, but here, just off Park Avenue, with a gorgeous view of Beaver Stadium, lives the herd of more than 200 cattle. It's these cows that produce much of the milk served in the creamery. It's a concept they call cow to cone. There's been a saying around here since before my time that uh, the creamery products are so fresh that two days ago they were grass. A team of about 10 employees and 20 or so students work on the farm, caring for the animals around the clock, milking, feeding, and studying them. We milk about 220 cows every day, twice a day and those cows are producing roughly 90 pounds of milk a day. That works out to about 2,000 gallons daily. It's loaded then onto a truck and taken almost right across the street where it's both made and served at the creamery. Butter pecan cow. But why does Penn State even have cows? As a land grant school, Penn State was an agriculture school and to this day, the cows are primarily used for research. But in 1865, the creamery began selling the milk the farm produced right out of the barn. 150 years later, the creamery and its iconic ice cream is one of the university's main attractions. If you come to campus, uh, you're either going to the stadium or a sporting event, uh, or you're coming to the creamery. For generations, a dish of death by chocolate or grilled stickies has brought families together. <laughs> and on game day, it brings all people together. Those road fans are opponents okay so if they're not here for penn state they're here for ohio or iowa or whoever they are right they're opponents but when they come to the creamery they're all together it doesn't matter what color you're wearing when you're standing in line you're all after one thing and that is ice cream and the ambiance of coming here in university park for your well maggie he never said the actual flavor of the whiteout ice cream which I still have a problem. I'm trying to remember or try to figure this out. What is popcorn with white chocolate chips? You know what? I think I, that we're just all going to have to try it, right? I, I mean, think. I was trying to put the combination together and it just didn't come up. I'm sure it's delicious, I'll, though, because I the ice that, cream yeah. is fantastic. Yep. If you can't make it to the game and plan to watch it from home, you can do so right here on WTAJ, your Nittany Nation station. Kickoff, once again, is set for 730.